Hello everyone and welcome to an exciting look at the Peak Forest Railway route, the newest and second steam route uh, to enter the Trenton World franchise. Um, and yeah, big thanks to Dovetail Gamers for giving us a key to show this off. Uh, yeah, Ambergate, Chinley and Buxton, set in 1963, uh, so back in sort of the, uh, nearing the end of the days of, of steam, sadly. Uh, and yeah, we're going to do it in the dupe. We will take a look at the 4F as well. The 4F is included. There's just not really a lot you can actually do with it passenger-wise. So we will take a look at that, but we're going to do a full line run in the Jubilee to begin with. Um, but yeah, here we are at Ambergate. Um, I don't really know what, 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 what much else there is to say, so we'll just get into it and enjoy. Um, now, it feels really weird seeing Ambergate like this, because the only other, only other times I've seen it is on Train Sim Classic. Uh, on the Derwent Valley line when it's the modern day representation of the route. So it's quite cool to see it like this, sort of as a, I mean, quite a quite a large, I mean, it's quite a weird one as well, because it's like a, a triangle station. I think it's, I've never seen one like this, really. Um, it's quite, yeah, it's quite cool. I mean, look at that. Sort of three different, almost like three different stations in one, uh, which is cool. And then you've got the Midland Main Line, which is uh, over there. So yeah, quite cool to see Ambergate as it is. Uh, and we're going to be calling at... Let's have a look. We have got... Let's go back up. Let's go back up. We've got Watts Downwell, Cromford, Matlock Bath, Matlock, Darleydale, uh, Rowsley, Bakewell, uh, Millersdale, Peak Forest, Chapel and Lafriff, and then Chinley 838. So let's get the doors shut. Let's get in. Hopefully the audio is not too noisy. I actually have turned down the uh, game audio just a little bit as it is quite quite noisy. <laughs> Let's uh, whack that one up. Now uh, we have got the green to go. So I assume as soon as those brakes are off, we are off. And we've got Jutland for this one. Aimed after, I suppose, the famous Battle of Jutland in 1916. Right, are we ready to go? Are we ready to start our Peak Forest adventure? I think we are. Let's get a little bit of power. There you go, let all of the uh, nasty stuff out of the cylinders. But off we go, it begins. And we probably will be late on this service as well. But that's fine, we'll be exploring. As we make our way out. And I'll also show you what you get included, journey mode, scenario, services. We'll do that all, I suppose, after this service, and then we'll then jump in the 4F. Let's pop that down. Beautiful. So we have actually done this part of the line before on Train Sim Classic, uh, all, all bit being modern day. I think it's also single track as well now, if I can remember correctly. Up down a little bit more. We've got 80 miles an hour along this bit, although coming down to 40. And not actually too far to watch Stanwell either. Very nice. But yeah, different pace of steam on this route. Instead of it being really, really quick, it's quite a... I suppose quite a scenic and slowish route. Not not too slow, because it's 80 at the moment, but it does come down to 40. But you've got some nice scenery. Whereas I suppose on Spirit of Steam, the original steam route, was more about... You know, as fast as you can go. Lots of heavy industry. Whereas here, it's just a different pace of life. Well, ish. Let's get back in. Pop that down a little bit more. And get that up a little bit more as well. So not too far. Uh, station stops. We have got uh, What's Down Well, Cromford, Matlock Bath, Matlock. I think that's really brilliant for it. Darley Dale, Rowsley, Bakewell. Millersdale, Peak Forest, Chapel and the Frith, and Chinley. Looks nice as we go along here, though. Yeah, so this route is 1963, as mentioned, uh, whereas um, Spirit of Steam was... Um, well, wasn't it? That was 1958. We'll jump off at what stand. We'll have a little look around, see what the collectibles are. So I'm sure there'll be some cool stuff we can uh, collect. Very nice so far, though. Nice bit of scenery. And we're playing on the Xbox Series X as well. 
Very nice. So yeah, following the river around. No idea what the river's called, if anyone knows. Probably, I mean, Derwent Valley, so I'm assuming probably the River Derwent. But yeah, if I'm wrong there, do quote me. I'll put that down to uh, 40. Get quite a lot of external shots on Steam uh, as well. From the inside, you can't see too much. So it's just nice to get some external shots. Especially as of, of the scenery on this route as well, which is um, proving to be very nice. And you've got some sort of canal up there as well. Very pretty. And yeah, this is a route from Dovetail Games. Right, let's start popping the brakes on. Probably a little bit more as uh, it's uh, coming up relatively quick. And I think it's got quite a short platform. Or has it? Maybe not, it just keeps going round and round and round. Oh, smallish. Doesn't seem too bad though. And I probably want to put the locomotive past the platform as well. So a necessary overshoot. So I'm going to try and get as many coaches on as possible. Well, that might not actually. Uh... Now nah, well, we came to a stop anyway. Let's get the doors open. So most coaches, I mean, would you be able to fit all coaches on? I mean, probably, yes. Yeah, if you've stopped it past the platform, you probably could get every single uh, coach on. Let's, uh, let's go for a little run around. Oh, hello. Is this a new NPC model? I haven't seen an elderly bloke before. Oh, he's muttering to himself. Well, there we go, we've got new uh, MPT models, look at that. Some elderly bloke reading a newspaper muttering away to himself. Very nice. Uh, we've got some, uh, yeah, some new new cosmetics as well. Obviously slightly more newer than the uh, 50s, sort of fashion. What's this, is that a collectible under there? We must find a collectible. What's down well? Uh, oh, there you go. So cases stacked. Only 15. What's this here? It's <gasps> cherry bakewells. Yes. Oh, it's making me hungry. Lunch eater. I like that you got little crumbs there as well. So that's another collectible. Lovely station though, this one. Uh, what's that? Is that, I guess, a po Oh, it's a route map. There you go. Peak forest line. Can we go up here? Okay, we can't go up there. Or oh, can we? Got a poster there as well. London for your holidays. Well, this is nice, isn't it? Go up on the bridge as well. Very nice. Uh, let's get back to the front. Uh, we'll get the doors locked. Uh, get the brakes off as well. So, yeah, try and stop the locomotive just past the platform. We sort of flipped a bit and put the brakes on a bit too much. As these trains have vacuum brakes, which are just so irritating. <laughs> Should have lapped brakes, they're better. Right, I think we're ready to go. Tiny bit of power, oh, well, maybe not. It wasn't happy with that, was it? Just a little bit then. There we go. Goodbye, people, we are off. Leaving uh, what's down well behind it is Cromford next, which is in just under three miles. What's that say on there? Oh, just a little box. I thought it might have been a sign of some sort, but no. Hold it down a bit. Here we go. Very pleasant little station there. And I've also heard on this route there's also little pathways you can go off. So you could go off um, for a walk outside of sort of the general railway area to good you know, viewpoints and stuff. So I wonder if you can actually walk along the canal. Might be able to. I'll put that down a little bit more. Very nice. I 
some sort of cattle uh, cattle dock, isn't it? Cattle dock there, cattle loading area. Another signal box there, what's down well signal box? But yeah, this line still exists in real life, obviously not as much track as I think, I think it is single track now. So it's uh, much, uh, pretty much it's a shadow of its former self in real life now. And it goes only as far as I think as Matlock now, and that's it, and then it ends. Over the river. And we get that fully up now to uh, 100 on there. Got 55 coming up. Probably going to be quite a few speed changes on this route, I'd, uh, I'd think. Let's get a flyby shot already. First flyby shot. Right up to close to the river. Would have been nice to see a bit more sort of reeds on the river. A bit like what we saw with the um, Nidital barn. Otherwise it looks very just... Wow. Like that. Would have been cool to see some sort of vegetation coming out the side. Little ferns and stuff. they got their fires on in there. Not sure they'd need them. I mean, it is, I've set this to June, I think. So it would be quite nice and warm at this time. Everybody's getting up for the day. Another line off there, wherever that goes. Oh, it goes into single track as well. I wonder if we can see that on the map. Oh, it just goes to there. So you probably can drive along that bit then. Into the next tunnel. In we go. Oh, I like the glow, I like the glow of the uh, lights on the steam there. Not really seen that before, because on Spirit of Steam, there is, there's no tunnels. I mean, there's not really any... Well, there is the Runcorn Bridge, but yeah, on Spirit of Steam, it's there's no tunnels. Some sort of treatment plant there. Very nice. So it's one of the early ones. Cool. As we fling our way along the line. Very pleasant. Very peaceful as well. As we uh, come up to Cromford. Yeah, it's just sort of just a general passenger service you'll see on the line. Jubilees. Well, I think they do want to add some 4F services in, because at the moment the 4F doesn't have any passenger services. Uh, as you'll see, it's basically just all shunt. It's pretty much it's all within the yard. So the 4F, I suppose, doesn't really do a lot. Um, but we'll take a look at that after this. Little football ground down there. Bit weird, so we've got the stand there, but then the uh, pitch is all the way over there. Let's whack that up. So this is Cromford we're coming into. Uh-oh, have I braked a bit too much? I've been a bit too brake happy, I think. No, I think we're all right. I think we'll be just fine. Maybe. No, I think, I think we're all right. Oh, hello. oh my god, he just jumps off the bridge. All right. <laughs> right. I suppose we can't really go past the uh, platform here. As we have got a tunnel one end of it. We'll have a quaint little uh, English village station. Let's pop out as well here. So it looks like you've got a mix of colour lights and semaphores. And you got one there, 50 as well, and into the tunnel. Pop a long one as well, right. Let's go and see what we can find. There's all the uh, NPCs. Oh, can we go down here? Oh, I, I want to find the place where you can go off. Another map there, so we are now there. Cleans white best. Strong tea. All club sold by a cuppa. And I wonder if there's that supposed, that's supposed to be any sort of um, CIS on this route. Obviously, on modern day routes, you have the electronic screens. 
But I, this thing here, it sort of caught my attention a little bit. Would this have chalk markings on it saying, you know, when the train times, you know, what time the trains are coming? So at the moment it's just sort of an empty board. But I wonder if that would be some sort of form of CIS they might consider adding. Because I know on West Somerset Railway, uh, they were considering adding sort of chalk boards of sort of times of when the trains are coming. Passengers must not cross the line except by the means of the footbridge. They all want to be cross. They all, they all want to cross the footbridge. It's mad packed. Let's uh, let's get back in. Are the lights actually on? Okay, they are. I was going to say. People might not be too happy with that. That's good though, doesn't it? It's all the moss and weathering to the uh, to the wall there. Yeah, it's got a nice atmosphere to it. Let's, uh, let's hop back in. Get the doors locked. Get that off. Slowly wait for the brakes to release. We'll get the cylinders open for this one. So if you don't you don't have to do it every single stop, but try and do it every now and again just to let let the nasty stuff out of the cylinders. Oh, not that way. That way. At least now, at least we now know the brakes are released. Ish. Come on, you said you wanted to roll back. And it's Matlock Bath next. Which doesn't seem to be very far. Get the cylinders shut. This will be all going uphill as well. We've got a 1 in 8 8, which ain't too bad. And yeah, we've got the steam firing mode set to automatic, which I'll show you how to do that because I know a lot of people are going to be caught out on that. Uh, generals, as it had on gameplay. Yeah, if you if you're not if you're not good with your steam trains too well, set your steam firing mode to automatic. And in fact, it is more realistic as well because I suppose the driver wouldn't be doing the firing and the driving. And just a tad more. Getting that up fairly quick as we are on an uphill gradient. So that will hinder our performance a little. That'll be gay. Oh, I can't see it. Where's the fire gone? There's the fire. Let's get the little lamp on. Just whilst we're going through here. And also, probably want to be careful because it probably isn't that far out of the tunnel, is it? I mean, 800 yards. There's probably another 200 odd yards of the tunnel. So it's quite soon after we come out of the tunnel, I think. Be a good one to learn Huddler, so this route. And the route price is £29.99. pence. So sort of the usual uh, route price for uh, TSW uh, DLC. It's got to be just round here, then, isn't it? Yeah, here we are, Matlock Bath. And then the station after that Matlock is where the current, you know, if you went on the train now, that's where it ends. And the Heritage Railway begins. Which goes like another couple of stops. They're in Derbyshire. Scenery looks lovely though. I'll give it that. It does look lovely. So right towards the end. Get the brakes off a little bit. They're slowly releasing. Have a nice looking station. Cool. And then here we are. Matlock Bath. Yeah, probably don't need to put the locomotive past the end here. I think we should be all right. Well, they're saying that you have got a water tower there, so I suppose if you were running low on water, go and have a little fill up there. I'm looking out for paths, sort of suspicious looking paths, where it looks like, hang on, oh no, there's not one there. Ones where it looks like you could probably uh, go and have a little stroll along. 
Which this one here looks a little bit sort of suspicious, but I doubt you can go up there. Although you might be able to. Mm, probably not. Nice little station there next to the uh, next to the riverside. Yeah, definitely would have been nice to see a bit more sort of. Um, I suppose here you've sort of got a little bit here, haven't you? Slightly more. Uh, I suppose yeah, there's a bit there's a bit more here, but slightly more sort of vegetation just within the river. But there was a little bit there though. Another little sleepy village, or part of, like the Matlock Bath. Is that a whole separate place, or is that sort of a, a suburb of, of Matlock? Let the brakes release. Probably should do this before the ring goes all the way round, but oh well. Brake senders drop in, so let's get a little bit of... Uh, throttle on there just a little bit just to make sure we don't start rolling back oh we'll, we'll slip in there right just a tiny bit wheels move and there it goes so on this route you get the uh, oh hello what's that there i haven't seen that before what's, what's that it's like spitting out is that oh it's the water coming out i don't know if i've seen it like that before though that's cool. Pop that down a bit. Yeah, not really a lot I can say about this route in terms of scenery and sort of, you know, how it compares. Because one, it's set in the 60s, and two, I don't know this area in real life. So, I can't really make comment on any of those uh, bits and bobs. Pop that down. Still uphill, 1 in 189 up here. As we go into the next tunnel. Alright mate, you're going to be quite busy on this run, aren't you? With all these uphill gradients and me trying to break the locomotive. So not too far to Matlock. It's probably at the end of the tunnel, isn't it? There you go, he's shoveling more invisible coal into the, uh, into the firebox. Let's get that fully up now. Let's let it rip. I will be a few minutes late. The timetable doesn't seem too bad at the moment. I mean, if we hadn't, you know, had a little stroll about at a couple of uh, couple of stations, as we probably could have been on time. So it doesn't doesn't seem too bad. The timetable seems fairly lenient. I might get that audio up a little bit more. I don't know how much you can actually hear the game. Obviously, Steam is uh, is quite loud. So, I'd imagine you probably can hear it all right. Over the river again. And into another tunnel. Surprise, 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 surprise. And I think we come out of here and then into Matlock. So, I'll get those uh, brakes on. Quite swiftly as well. As yeah, we are coming in rather quick. Oh, there's a red at the end of the platform as well. Okay, ooh. That does change things. Don't come right to a stop so quickly. No, not here. A little bit further. Train. A little bit further, please. A little bit further. Just about saved it using that. Ooh. Well, be careful. There is a red at the end of the platform here. Well, actually, a little, a little bit further along. Not straight away. Welcome to Matlock. Yes, yeah, so this is where the current modern day line ends. And then you then get the uh, Heritage Rail, which I think is called Peak Rail. Uh, and takes you... I don't know how far that actually goes. I think that might go up to Rowsley. So it doesn't go very far. I think it's only a small heritage railway. Lovely. 
But yeah, it definitely feels like this might be something to do with sort of a future CIS. Or at least, you know, where you'd have uh, the uh, times of trains on it. But it's blank at the moment. Would have been cool to see into the waiting rooms as well. Or whatever this would be here. As was a bit like what Rivet were doing with their uh, Edinburgh Glasgow, where you could sort of see inside. Because otherwise it feels a bit sort of like, you know, you can see there's windows there, but you can't see in, so it makes it a bit sort of like, what's in there, what's there? So yeah, it would have, would have been nice to see through through these into, you know, some, some sort of interior. Even if it wasn't really anything in there, it would still be nice just to see in. Um, same for these as well. Would have been nice to actually, you know, see in. Get the uh, door shut, and that's now changed, and it's Dardy Dale next in two miles. Get the cylinders open again, and off we go. As those brakes slowly release, vacuum brakes. <laughs> they take a long time to come on, a long time to go off. I couldn't LMS go. We need some GWR steamers in the game. Because they've got lapped brakes. And lapped brakes are just easy. Oh, easy, yeah. So I wonder where that viaduct is then. I think there's a big viaduct on this route somewhere. And that's where sort of one of those paths that goes off goes. And you can sort of see it from a distance. It'd be cool to try and uh, locate that. That's quite a cool signal box. Sort of on top of the platform there. Goodbye, Matlock. So we're now, I suppose, on the modern day peak rail. Nice. Let's pop that down again even more. Down to about 40 for now. That's so why we actually are going downhill as well. And we've got an 80 coming up as well. So it's rather quick on some parts. Well, this bit's a bit, of, a bit of a straight line, I suppose. But you can see where we are. That's the route map. So I think Chinley is up here somewhere. Uh, Chinley, I think, there, maybe. And you've got Buxton, which is this one here. So that's down there. There we go. That's better. You can see sort of um, algae or, well, whatever that is. That, that nasty looking stuff there on top of the water. That's nice there. That's so a bit more steel as well. Okay, so we've got a bit of a quick part of the route for this bit. Let's, uh, let's get a fly by shot. I think we've earned, earned it. There it is. But yeah, how's everyone finding it so far? Do comment below. Is it your cup of tea? Because I know a lot of people... Uh, well, yeah, I know... I suppose Steam's a bit more smaller scale. Well, I don't know, actually. Yeah, not sure. But I know quite a lot of people are saying, Oh, I, don't, I might not get that because it's probably going to be too challenging. It's not that challenging. I think people are put off by Steam quite a lot because they think, oh my god, how, how on earth am I going to do that? But if you've got the Steam firing mode set to automatic, which I suppose would be more realistic, then all you have to do really is the reverser comes down, regulator goes up to get going. It's as simple as that. And then the brakes, just slam them on. <laughs> so don't be put off by sort of how challenging Steam can be. As you're missing out, it's 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 not that hard. I mean, yeah, it is difficult, but well, more difficult than others. But it's not bad. Regulator up, reverser down. That, that's all. Pretty much, you need to know. We well, can hear those brakes coming on. As we come up to Darley Dale, got some rather big hills there in the distance. As part of the uh, peak district. But yeah, second steam route in the game. Which, yeah, I suppose, is a, a slightly different pace of life to uh, Spirit of Steam. 
And I feel like I'm going to prefer this one as well. Spirit of Steam, it is, it's a very good route. But it's not sort of the most... What's the, what's the way to put it? It's not the most exciting. Um, I suppose once you've done it quite a few times. Because you're on the West Coast Mainline for about two thirds of it. Um, so it's, it's just not that scenic. Well, it's like this. I mean, look at the scenery around here. Stunning. Actually, yeah, Spirit of Steam isn't as scenic. And I do like my scenic routes. And Steam and Scenic just go together so well. Oh, I think it actually wanted us past the... Oh, no. Oh, we got... Um... I don't think there were any of these on Spirit of Steam. There you go. You've got the uh, crossing gates, which are uh, the flappy ones. Nice, nice. Can you actually click on them and do them? No, that would have been cool. A bit like on the... Uh, I love the way I just compare everything to the Nidatel barn. But there was like, you could actually sort of click on the little crossing to make it go up or down. Because then you could sort of play the role of crossing keeper, which would be quite fun. Oh, hello. <laughs> what are you doing here? Tom Tom, that's JD's cat, isn't it? Well, there you go, you've got cats on here as well. Station cats. Wells for your holidays. Very nice, pleasant feel to it, though. And also a nice little treat, I suppose, seeing the new uh, NPC models. Oh, here we go. Look at that. The elderly person there reading the uh, the train times. And I've seen one with a walking stick as well. I don't know if they actually get up and walk about. But it's cool to see, though. It's something different. Very nice. Right, let's leave Dardy Dale. So it's a lovely little place, but we need to get moving. And it is Rowsley next. Probably yet, should have released the brakes before the uh, ring went fully round. As now we're just sort of sat here, not doing a lot. We didn't like that. Just an incy, incy bit of throttle. Just then it looks like we're doing something. <laughs> Oh, there you go. There we go. Let's look at that landscape, though. It's very, very nice. As we slowly leave Darley Dale. Well, there we go, though. I think this one was about 70 minutes, this service. So it does take quite some time to get from one end to the other, but not every service stops at every stop, and not all of them do the full line either. Some do go towards um, uh, Buxton. So you sort of get a nice mix of services you can do. It's not just uh, it's one of my sort of it's one of those routes I like more because of sort of the more you can do on it. It's not something like uh, let me think Edinburgh Glasgow, where it's simply just A to B. Uh, you know Edinburgh Glasgow done. That you've got you know you've got a choice of where you can go. You can either go down to to uh, to, to Buxton or you can go up to Chinley. Which I, like. I just like having the choice of going to two different destinations or three. Uh, oh, it's, I think it's not, well, never really more than three. But yeah, I, I like the choice of going to different places instead of just a simple A to B. Or I suppose having like a, uh, uh, something like uh, Hobstrecker Rhine Ruhr or Rhine Ruhr Austin, where you've got almost like a completely different way you can go to get to the. Uh, other end. There's like two different ways on there. Just, you know, so it's different. Yeah, Rousley next in uh, just over one mile. Hopefully you don't mind these external shots. Obviously, I think it's probably better for, for steam as otherwise you're sort of, well, here. <laughs> you don't really see it as much. Nice yard over there, sort of full of uh, plants and stuff. 
Oh, is this a, are we not stop? Is there a station? Oh, there is a station coming up. We're not stopping here. I think it did say we were semi-fast, actually. But I just sort of assumed... Oh, no. No, there is no other station. Or is this where the junction comes off? Oh, no, there is one, but... Wait, no? Yeah, there is, but we're, we're going... Oh, no, I don't know. No, just a, just, just a big yard. And we've got a 45 coming up. Still got that issue of the sort of fuzzy wagons over there on the left. It's weird when it does that. And we're coming up to Rowsley. Or Rosley. Ro Rosley? Rowsley? One of those two. As I said, I'm not local. I'm a southerner. <laughs> There's the river again. I'm, I'm guessing that is the River Derwent. Or Der, Derwent, however you say it. Rowsley North Junction. Here we are, another nice little station. A bit of industry on the side as well. Quite a bit of industry at this one. Quite a lot of trackage going off to other places. And have a nice little uh, village or town station. It seems a bit of a bigger place, this one. You sort of got to tap the vacuums on. A little bit further. A little bit further. Uh, I'd say, yeah, we're in. Let's come to a stop. Here, yeah, Rowsley for Chatsworth. Beautiful looking though. Just look at that there. That's nice. On this nice, uh, nice warm morning. Let's get a screenshot there as well. Six minutes later, yeah, that's not too bad. Also, we did have a little wander around some of the uh, first stations, didn't we? So, have a look at this one, though. Oh, if you're really quiet, actually. Let me, let me turn that up a bit. You can hear the river. That's nice, just a bit of ambient sort of water sounds. Right, let me get that back down now, otherwise it's going to be uh, too, too noisy. And yeah, probably should again have started releasing the brakes before we got going, or before we, uh, before the thing went round. Bakewell next, which is the uh, home of the cherry Bakewell, the Bakewell tart. And we should slowly start seeing things moving forward. There we go. Right, cool. And we're off. Yeah, I think they have been working on this route for quite some time, so it's in a pretty good, uh, pretty good shape. There we go, and safety valve's gone off. Yes. Let's get up a bit more. There we go. So how many stations have we got now then? We've got Bakewell, Millersdale, Peak Forest, Chapel and the Frith, and Chinley. So we're about Yeah, about halfway through or so. Even, even more. Yeah, where are these pathways where you can go off? They'll be somewhere along here. So that's what I'm sort of looking out for. So somewhere along here is a viaduct. I don't know if it's on the bit we're going on today. I think it's somewhere around here though.
There we go. Yeah, the nice Derbyshire countryside. Not bad at all. Yeah, not bad at all. And yeah, just a different different pace to Spirit of Steam. Which is nice. A slightly more chilled out pace to it. Just yeah, it doesn't really feel like you're in a rush on this one. So sort of just sit back, enjoy the scenery, go through the valley. I bet mean, these these are the later years of Steam. So a lot of people were saying, well, we could see some diesel trains on here. Unfortunately, we don't have any diesel trains on here. Uh, but that would be something cool to see in the future, maybe as like a substitution or, um, you know, an extra layer. Uh, I think a lot of people were saying about the 08 and the little shunter from, I suppose that would probably come from Northern Trans Pennine on the BR Heavy Freight Pack. So that's like the older version of it. Which, yeah, that would be quite cool to see, sort of a mix of steam and diesel in, in the same route. I mean, that would be really nice, actually. So I suppose if you're not too good with steam, you could still get the route, but get it for the diesel stuff. I don't know. What would you guys prefer? Would you just prefer it being steam only? Or maybe getting a tiny bit of diesel in here as well? You know, even if it was just the 08 shunter doing some shunting in the yard, which could maybe substitute for the 4F. Very bumpy along this bit, and quite steep as well. It's a 1 in 100 up here. So we are climbing. I think we are mostly climbing up most of the journey. Yeah, as we uh, as we head up. As we approach Bakewell. There we go. A flash of light. Oh wow, that's a good view coming out of here. So we must be coming up to the viaduct or something fairly, fairly soon. Because we are really climbing up now. Yeah, I can't remember where they said the viaduct was, though. Yeah, Lovely. Probably going to be greens all the way as well. Fingers crossed. And this is, I think, one of the longer passenger services you can do on the route. As I did spawn into one before, because I was going to do that one, but then for some reason it started to think out. I think it started at Cromford uh, instead of Amber Gate. So there are some slightly shorter ones, but I think yeah, this one is sort of one of the longest ones. Being yeah, about an hour and ten minutes, and if you're late, an hour and fifteen minutes. So not too bad. Yeah, it's sort of really opened up now, hasn't it? Sort of from being in the sort of middle of the valley next to the river to being sort of quite up high. Sort of settle Carlisle vibes on this bit. Seems to have been an issue since the update where the um, the whistle uh, thing goes through the uh, through the ball there. Slightly weird. Oh, nine eight hundred. Yeah, okay. Let's start slowing that. That came up rather quickly. As we come up to, but I should have got some cherry bakewells for this. That would have been perfect. Every time I get a collectible, eat a bakewell. I should have done that. Maybe I'll do that for one of our other videos on here. Go out, get some cherry bakewells, come back, and eat some bakewells at bakewell. Perfect. Doesn't seem like there's much going on at this station. Is there even a state? Yeah, there is a little building. Maybe a slightly quieter one on the line. down there. Welcome to Bakewell. And if you have got a Bakewell in your house, go and get it and eat it. <laughs> this is this is the perfect opportunity. Oh, you got a root master up there as well. That's a different uh, model as well. Well, these different colours to what we uh, saw on Spirit of Steam. Oh, don't stop just yet. I mean, we're in. Yeah, all right. I'm happy with that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I haven't seen this model before. 
or at least this this color of the uh, model. So you've got it in Bakewell colors. So why? Uh, what's it say? Actually, say on it. I thought it said something on it there. Just the uh, reflection. There's a nice uh, nice station there. And then after this, we've then got Millersdale, which uh, is in quite a few minutes actually. So there might be a bit of a gap between the next uh, next couple. Start releasing the brakes now. I want a little bit of a grade, so we we'll have to sort of keep an eye out. Got another cattle uh, dock here as well. Not sure if there, if there actually is any um, cattle services you can do. There might be. I mean, with these here, you might. I mean, that would actually be quite cool, actually. Sort of seeing, uh, you know, the train pull up and you have to load it up, open the gate here, you, you know, let a few cows on it. Says full, and then you have to do the same thing again. Oh, uh, yeah, that was sort of uh, why I didn't want to take the brakes off too early. Start rolling forward there. These have been done nicely. Look at that. For the uh, for the crossing. Right, Midlands down in six miles or so. So yeah, we've got a bit of a gap between uh, between these ones. And then after that, there's that's in the junction. But once we finish this service, we'll jump into the 4F and have a look at that. Which, as I said, not too exciting sort of what you get with the 4F it is sort of just yeah banking moves and shunting that that's basically what the 4F is sort of constrained to although I think Matt did mention they might add some passenger services for it at some point as yet yeah, at the moment it's sort of just tucked away in the yards not doing a lot but we'll take a look so it's the uh, the new loco. I must admit, I have had a little tinkle with it already. I jumped the gun a little bit, but only a small. Pretty much just doing the whistle. That was basically it. Yeah, Jutland's doing us well for this uh, journey. Oh, the whistle ran out. That no, we're good. Let's open that up. So yeah, we've got now got Middlesdale Peak Forest, which well the route is named uh, Peak Forest, so that must be quite an important station. And then Chapel and Lafrith, interesting name. And then Chinley at eight thirty eight. But hopefully everyone is enjoying the first look. Obviously, steam isn't something we see often uh, on train sim well, so it's always, I suppose, quite special doing a doing a steam route. I guess we did have the uh, rivet game. Oh, we're actually losing speed here. I know we did, we did. I suppose the last steam release was the rivet games one, wasn't it? The rivet games uh, West Cornwall local steam rail tours pack, which I highly recommend if you want to run steam on modern routes. Gives you a sort of slightly more updated uh, steam experience. Is this a station here? I think they said there was about three abandoned stations, so I'm assuming this might be one of the uh, closed ones. I doubt there was really. I mean, there's like one house here, so n not a lot. So I'm assuming this might have been the old platform here. Yeah, it looks like it. Let's get back in the train. A little bit of inside action. All the different cams as well. That's always a nice cam to go in. Yeah, the scenery is lovely. And yeah, this is on Xbox Series X, so next gen. So it should be running high slash ultra as uh, we are on the next gen consoles. Oh, I don't like that. I can see the loading in over there. Lovely. So this bit is uh, 50 odd miles an hour. So yeah, there's sort of a mix of slow and fast. Well, not really. I mean, it's not really slow, is it? I mean, 50 is not slow. 
sort of mid speed, mid speed to high speed for steam. Let's send this camera view for a little bit. Very pleasant. Over we go. Yeah, quite a long gap between uh, there you go, all the coal going in. Quite a long gap between the uh, these two stations. Haven't seen another train yet, though, have we? So it's quite a. Oh, I suppose it is. Well, it's twenty past eight in the morning, so we might see. Probably should see a little bit of activity. But I can't imagine it was busy, busy in real life. Um, I mean, it, it's not really a main line, and this one obviously got closed, unfortunately, in the sixties. Uh, I think so. Probably not actually too long after this is set. So, I suppose, yeah, not really a, a, a very busy route. Another abandoned stop there. Yes, this route was, uh, was axed. So, I think we've got another tunnel coming up. Seems like we're going into quite a steep cutting. Or quite a deep cutting. Well, steep and deep cutting. Yeah, we most definitely do have a tunnel coming up. Does everyone get ready? Get your lights on. Where's our little tail lamp or uh, light in here? Have we got it on? It's not on. Quick. Unless it is just a really... I uh... know oh, it is on. I oh, know. Here we go. Then we go into the tunnel. I thought that's going to be a long tunnel as well. I can't see the light at the end yet, so. And we've got a bit of a downhill gradient as well now, so we're going to get the uh, brakes on a little bit. It'll be quite hard to do this one, Hudless, as, um, as it's slightly harder to judge the speed. Whereas on Spirit of Seam, you can just let it go full whack. Whereas on here, I suppose you can't. Yeah, on Spirit of Seam, you can just go full whack as it was about 100 miles an hour, the speed limit. That was a pleasant change of scenery. This another station, yeah, another station here, I think, or another abandoned one. I suppose at the time, not really uh, populous. Oh no, it's it might be open that one. Montsell Dale. It might be. I mean, it's still got all the signs up and stuff. I'd imagine that stop would probably be quite popular if it was open nowadays. Sort of of uh, hikers and walkers. Yeah, that was a really nice change of scenery. Sort of back in the deepish valley. And where's this tunnel going to take us? Where are we going next? Millersdale. Just over two miles to go. Is this going to take us back out of the valley? But yeah, nice to have some tunnels though. As yeah, as on um, Spirit of Steam, there was none. Well, I suppose you could count the climb coming out of Liverpool Lime Street, but not really a tunnel. Black again. Just under two miles. We were due there six minutes ago, so a little bit late, but it's alright. We're enjoying the scenery. And there's also a double header scenario on this one as well. Uh, I think it's the Royal appointment scenario, which I'll show you all the scenarios journey services after this uh, but Yeah, there's a there's a royal train scenario Which will be cool to do at some point Probably do that on stream Yeah, 
they're really high up now. Lovely looking scenery though. Lots of rock faces. And just over a mile to Middlesdale. And the route's 38 miles long as well. Um, all of the trackage on it. So I suppose we're probably travelling about 30 today. As we're not going down to... Uh, oh, hello. We're not going down to uh, Buc uh, Buxton. Yeah, quite a long gap there then. About 10 minutes. And we've got 30 coming up as well. So start bringing that down. Cool. We've got a bridge coming up here. I think there is a bridge actually for the uh, platform. We've got something coming up. But yeah, somewhere on here there's a big viaduct. I don't know if this is the... No, probably not this one. Somewhere. Oh, there's a bit of a bigger station as well, this one. Platform 3. Yeah, slightly more... Uh, major station well this is nice going over here look at that very nice you've got a terminating wow so there's five platforms here it's impressive well, unless that one is actually used as a platform which it probably is yeah so quite a biggish station Maybe some trains terminated here as well. Then turn back towards, uh, well, Chinley or Buxton. Or maybe this is where the trains to Buxton uh, start from. That's, or some of them. That was alright. Yeah, Millersdale. I almost want to say my, my, mild as uh, Dale, but that's uh, Millers, isn't it? Millers for tired as well. Lovely. Very nice station, actually. Very, very nice. And after this, it's in Peak Forest. Start getting those uh, brakes off. Just to help that, we'll do that. That does help releasing the brakes a little. And let's go. So we've got three and a half miles to uh, Peak Forest. Which as we were due here at 17 past. That's actually quite a bit of time. So I guess this is going to be quite a slow bit. Or slowish bit. We are off. That was a really pleasant station, that one. Very nice. I'm guessing this bit's a bit slower. Put that down as well, down to 30 or so, maybe. No, 35. That sort of thing, the perfect amount. What is that there? What is this? It's making a noise. Some sort of industry. No idea what that would be, but it makes noise. Oh, that's a nice shot. There we go, look at that. Oh, 
I see the semaphore there drop in a second. There we go. Very nice. And into the next tunnel. So we're almost there now. We are there. So yeah, about three quarters of the way up the route now. So far, so good. I said, I'm not local to this area, so I can't really be like, oh, that could be slightly better there. Oh, that could be slightly better. And this bit shut as well. I mean, this is in the 1960s. So, can't really say anything. Wow, look at that. Quite steep as well up here. So another sort of steep, uh, deep V, well, sort of, yeah, a V-shaped uh, valley here, which we're sort of tucked on to the side too. Another little tunnel as well. And we're popping out this side. And this must be the junction here. So straight ahead would go to... Yeah, straight ahead goes down to Buxton. Um, and yeah, right goes towards... Oh, we got a red actually coming up. And the other way goes... Well, the other way. <laughs> I wonder what this is red's all about then. We are running late. <laughs> Unless it will change once we get a little bit closer, maybe. Hopefully it doesn't get stuck. It's yeah, a bit weird to have a red here. Unless we've sort of missed our slots and now another train's going to go ahead. Maybe. Let's just contact the signaller. Oh, no, there is another train there. Okay, so that one's managed to get ahead of us then. As we would have been booked through here probably before that service. Well, there we go. That's cool, isn't it? So other trains can get ahead of you. Really don't, will slip. Oi. Let's go and have a look. I want to have a look at the train. What, what train was it? Was it a 4F? Where you got to? Where you gone? It's going. Is it a light loco? Oh, it is the 4F, I think. Well, it's, off, it's off. It's going somewhere. <laughs> without us. Well, that seems to, yeah, it seems to be ahead of us now. Maybe that's going to that yard there. Another sort of om omnius sound there, whatever this bit of industry is. Signal, like, come on, mate. You can see it. We were coming round, and you let the full ref go in front of us. Disappointing. Well, they're cool to see, though. Two and a half miles to Peak Forest. I wonder what the station's actually going to be like. Will it literally be in the middle of a forest? Will it be like a little halt? Or... It's got to be a fairly sort of big place. I think we are supposed to be a, a fast diff service. Yeah, alright, driver assist. Yeah, I know what I'm doing, alright. <laughs> Don't panic. A 1 in 90 up here. So a little bit on the steep side. Just over 2 miles to uh, Peak Forest. Probably get there about 37, won't we, as we're about 10 minutes late now. I mean, I can't imagine these things really stayed on time much. I suppose the timetable was more of an estimate. <laughs> to when you should probably get there. Or when it could get there. Well, that one there is telling me the next one's going to be red. After the uh, yard or station coming up. Yeah, the home signal is probably that one which says 300 yards away. 
and the one after that I think will be red. Another big yard here. Yeah, really quite steep up this bit though, so we've sort of got to be got to be careful. And I really don't want to come to a stop either. Okay, now we're all good. Where's this place then? Um? Or is this the quarry? I know there's a quarry on here somewhere. Is this the quarry? I'm so interested to see where that 4F went. So I'm on its dolly way. Train in there, and yeah, maybe this is the quarry. And I assume where we're stopping is sort of the stop for the quarry. But did, uh, anyone watching, did anyone actually travel on this route when it was open? Obviously, that's the great thing about simulation games, and especially Train Sim World. We have people of all ages watching, you know, from, well, Younger folks to older folks and anywhere in between. So, the, yeah, did anyone ever go on this route when it was open? And what was it like, if you remember? How does it compare? Just over a mile to Peak Forest. Which is probably gonna sound a bit silly, but is it actually the peak of the uh, of the area? <laughs> is that sort of the top and then after that is it all downhill? It sort of sounds like it, doesn't it? Sort of you've got a forest at the top of the sort of gradient or hill or Ooh, there it is. Is that a 4F? Actually, that might not be a 4F. Oh, no, it's an 8F, isn't it? Uh, oh, it's an 8F. Yeah, it was an 8F. What are you doing up here? Get in front of us. So we still haven't seen a 4F yet. But not tomorrow. We'll have a look at the 4F after this. Well, there's not yet. Yeah, there's not really much to see, really. As we come up to uh, Peak Forest Station, and then Chinley and the Frith, and then Chinley. So it can't actually be that far now. I suppose, yeah, an, an hour and 20 minutes as we are 10 minutes late. It's been about an hour now. See, I've been sort of another 15 minutes. So it's going to be quite a long first look. But that's fine. Start popping that down. Here we are. Welcome to Peak Forest, the namesake of the route. This is the centre of attention. There we go. Cool. Uh, yeah, I think we're in. Mm, yeah, probably should have put the loco maybe slightly. In fact, let's do that now. Sorry people, hold on a second, do bear with me. Just going to move forward just a tiny bit more because I don't want you know, the people at the back falling out. <laughs> hold on. Right, there. Probably slightly better. Yeah, well, I think we're 
yeah, I mean, if they're on that back door, they can just hop out. It's fine. So, yeah, 11 minutes late. But then, yeah, we, I suppose we have been dilly-dallying a little bit. Not so much on these last stops, but... Yeah, the scenery just changes so much on this route. It's not one of those ones which feel, feels like it's never going to end. There's just so much... Uh, well, not really... No, it's never going to end, but there's just so many scenery changes. I mean, we were sort of in the middle of the... You know, when we started at Amber Gate, we were sort of at the... Uh, almost like the start of the valley quite steep either side you've got the river running through and then we sort of climbed up a bit and now we're sort of quite high well then we're sort of on the side of the valley quite, and then it sort of opened up quite a bit and now it's well like this it feels like we're sort of at the top now the river's gone it, it does change one hell of a lot of the scenery on here There's always plenty to see, I suppose. Chapel and the Frith next. Let's get the uh, cylinders open. Oh, I love that. Very nice. And then we shall get moving. Come on, train. The brakes are basically off. Although it is a 1 in 129 up here, so it is a little bit steep. Well, that should be quite easily doable. That's all the nasty stuff gone. Probably not as bad as the run corn grade. Yeah, we're, we're doing that well. That's fine. So we slowly pop that down. Trying to be fairly quick getting it into 35. And we'll just move it up just a little bit more. 4F! There's a 4F! Hello, you! There you go, there is the uh, 4F. That little thing there. So we try and do the whistle. It's been naughty, let's break in. Where's the whistle? Whistle, where's the whistle? I have no idea where the whistle is. Where, where is the whistle? I don't know. Uh, maybe we'll come back to that. Yeah, I, th I think we'll come back to that. But you can see that is the uh, the four. I've no idea where the whistle is though. Not sure. Well, well, we'll come back to that. Let's get back in. Oh, we're actually quite steep going downhill now. So I suppose that was sort of the peak. So yeah, all downhill now, down to uh, to Chinley. Very nice. Love seeing the steam going through the tunnel there. It's one of the coolest things that I've seen. Sort of the steam train going in the tunnel, and the steam sort of looming past the train. Down we go. Cool. Get in there. It's quite a long tunnel, this one. Oh, wow, yeah, this is a long tunnel. Look at this. Wow. Oh, this is the longest one on the route. It goes on forever. You right, farming? Yeah, get some more coal in there. I mean, we are going downhill now, so we could possibly leave it, although get more in there. Put those brakes on a little bit. Start slowly taking them off. Because the station's probably quite... Oh, I see a signal. Is that a signal in the tunnel? It's not the light at the end of the tunnel. Is it all the way over there? No, that is a green light. Imagine that happens to come to a stop here in the tunnel. That wouldn't be nice. Not be too far to the end. Yeah, a long old tunnel though, this one. Oh, oh, there they go. Oh, that was weird. Sort of the light, it's all of a sudden appeared. 
Unless there was a bit of, sort of, a, of a dip in that tunnel there. Don't worry, train, alright? I'm, I'm sort of just coasting at the moment. <laughs> I have to chapel and the thrift central. Remember, central. Not I kept saying chapel and the thrift, but no, it's chapel in the thrift central. Uh, it's in there, yeah, chimney. And then we'll jump in the uh, 4F. Or I'll show you what there is to do on the route. Then we'll jump in the 4F. Yeah, really long old tunnel, that one. Or maybe that tunnel's called Peak Tunnel. Into another tunnel. Oh, little diddly one. So where's that viaduct there? No, maybe that's on the um maybe that's on the bit down to Buxton. Unless we've already crossed over it. Maybe it isn't wasn't as grand as what the uh, photos were showing. Yeah, I vividly remember there being a screenshot of like a big viaduct and then there was like a path on the side you could go up. So unless that's still coming up, or maybe that's on the other part of the line. Get those brakes on. Might have hit the brakes on a little bit too much there. So I think they were, they were already on a little bit, weren't they, from when we were going through the tunnel. I should, probably should be alright with the Jubilee, man. We've been driven, driving this train for almost a year now on the game. We'd think on the Spirit of Steam a year ago. Wow. Almost. Chapel and Chapel and the Frith Central. I'm guessing that would mean something like Chapel in the Frith. Some sort of French name to it. Fancy. We do get quite a few of those sort of places um, here in the UK where. They do sort of have a, uh, a French sound in there. There's another one. Um, it's quite a... Newton the Willows. That's another one. I suppose it would be Newton the Willows. But yeah, Newton the Willows. Sounds a bit fancier, I suppose. And then from here, it's... Uh, oh, just up around the corner there. So not very far. I'm, get, I'm assuming that would be uh, Chinley there. Oh, it's been nice. It, yeah, but it almost does feel like one of those sort of never-ending routes. It just goes on and on and on and on and on. Which I suppose is a good thing. Keeps you something new to look at. And, uh, yeah. So we put the water pipe out. I don't remember. Where's the interactable? There. So you can move that out. Like that. We obviously won't fill it up now, but you could if you wanted to. Oh, what have I just done there? I don't want to do that. Large ejector. No. Oh, hang on. It's not putting stuff in, is it? No, that no, wouldn't be. No, I have to. Let me, let me move it back round. Actually, that's quite good, that being open. Yeah, could I do that again? Right, and we're off. It's, yeah, just over one mile to Chinley. There we go. Cool. Let's pop that down. 
That's just nice, isn't it? And yeah, to our final stop of Chinley. And that's Journey's End. That's a, well, we didn't go to Buxton on there. Uh, but a full, you know, end to end on the main, I suppose, part of the journey. Because I think Buxton's a, I think it's a dead end there, isn't it? I don't think it can, uh, carries on. Or does it? It might. No, I think it is a dead end. So sort of on the main part of the of the route we've we've been on. So it is supposed to oh here we go, this might be the viaduct. An hour and ten minutes. Uh, so that took us a bit longer as we were a little bit late. So yeah, so I think there's a path round here somewhere which you can walk up to I suppose get a better view of the uh, of the viaduct. It might be this one. Probably, but there we go anyway. So we uh, make our way across. Pretty. I'm sure you guys will find the little secret paths going off to places. Cool. Yeah, could this top uh, my favourite routes, or at least my best routes of trains in world three which at the moment for me it would be the birmingham cross oh so we've let's say, got a bit more modern as we get towards chinley um yeah for me the best routes on trains in world three would be cross city or at least dlc releases cross city and the nidatel barn they'd be sort of my top releases uh, dlc wise and possibly for some, some US content, I'd say probably the Acela with the Boston Sprinter upgrades. I'd say they're sort of the best things we've had. Sort of DLC-wise with Train Simul 3. On, on, in this season of Train Simul 3, so 2022 to 2023. I think this is a through station, so we don't have to worry about a buffer at the end eating our train. As uh, Dad Rail says, I'm sure he'll be doing this as well. Buffers don't like to be eaten. <laughs> Let's have a little Diddy 4F. There we go. Very, very nice. And welcome to Chinley. Not a bad journey. Not bad at all. Quite a mixed journey as well. See, lots of different bits of scenery we saw. It wasn't all just samey. So that's also, I suppose, a good thing with it as well. It does feel different uh, depending on sort of what part of the route you're on. So that's a good thing. So overall, pretty decent. And yes, I suppose a different pace to it than uh, Spirit of Steam, which is more about speed and industry. More speed and heavy ish freight. Cool, right, uh, we'll let this one end, and then we'll jump out, uh, and then we'll uh, have a look to see, at, we'll have a look at what you get with the route, and we'll have a little look at the 4F as well. As I know, you probably have been wanting to see the 4F, so. But yeah, it would have been nice to see what's actually inside of these uh, places, but well, it might be hard to find actually what is inside of them. But just, you know, so you could at least look in, uh, if, even if there was just nothing in there, was it just an empty room, it would still just be nice to see something there you go now in 24 minutes and 31 miles so i was all right with my, my prediction when i said 30 ish miles not too bad uh let's uh let's go to the timetable let's have a look at that first see what you uh get with it so uh this is with the jubilee so you can see what you've got on there so a nice sort of mix of service times 26 minutes 8 minutes 27 54 um, so yeah, a nice sort of mix there of, of an hour and 12 minutes, that one there as well. So a nice mix of services for the Jubilee. Uh, for the 4F, uh, 
you get so well yeah, as I said it, it's literally just all shunting a little bit of banking light loco not as exciting but yeah it's it you know you can still use the 4f uh, and then for the 8f uh, you get well I suppose the more heavy sort of freight services so you get a fair few on there a nice mix of service times as well as, as it goes through like that uh, scenario wise, uh, let's see, pick a route, peak forest, scenarios, Chinley Gala, all mixed up, break in the bank, uh, peak shunting, deep freeze and royal appointment, which as you can see is the double headed one, so that will be cool to do at some point. Journey mode, if anyone still does journey mode, uh, you get, wow, uh, 10 chapters, jubilant, steaming head, people carrier, heavy freight champion, freighter, duckies in a row, school of hard rock, share the load, the big freeze and melting Point. So a nice, uh, a nice amount there. But yeah, let's jump into the 4F and, uh, well, I'll see you when we jump into the 4F. Right, here we are. We're now in the 4F. A slightly, oh, and the safety valve is very noisy. Slightly smaller locomotive. So I have turned down the sound a little bit because of the uh, the noise. It's uh, incredibly loud. Let's get the reverse to forward. And the whistle's up here. It's got a very sort of nice uh, front to it. I like it. Brakes go off. Probably want to check the points as well. Yeah, they're not set. Let's quickly uh, set them. So you could get out and do that, but we'll just cheat and use the uh, map. Very nice. And let's also close the cylinders. Shouldn't need them on. So what we're doing on this service, stop there, couple to that, okay, so just general shunting. Probably should get our lamps on as well. No one will see us, we'll keep them off for now. Yeah, that's really noisy though. I'll turn down my audio a little bit actually. Right, pop that down. Nice and steady. Right next to the river as well, which is quite nice. And this uh, train also helps with banking as well, which is where you go up behind another train and push it up the hill. There we go. Where next? Uh, we're now going back into here. Uh, looks like it's all set already. So we set that back. Maybe we'll just do a couple of these ones. Just so you get an idea of what this one's like. To the roof. That's one way to break the locomotive. That was a red as well. Okay, all well, good. Oh, I managed to tab it. Well, not tab it, but hold hold circle. Oh, it doesn't like that. Probably ought to put that down a little bit. But it really isn't happy, is it? Oh, there we go. There's a sweet spot. Yeah, running tender first for a bit. You've got to love tender. There's always something special about tender first, isn't there? Everyone loves a bit of tender first. As we make our way back. Yeah, we'll just do one of these. We'll bring it out and see where it wants us to take it. Rousey Shed Siding 1. And we'll go there. It's not liking me very much, this train. Come on, train. Probably because we're breaking it. There, so you can sort of hear a bit of an echo to the whistle, which is nice. Join out of that. 
So at some point they are considering adding passenger services for this tram, which I think would be quite nice. Otherwise, doubt, I doubt many people are probably going to end up using it. There's not many people do shunting. Well, it's much of the time. Right, where next? Rousey Shed Siding 1. So we'll go down there then. And we'll call it in there once we get there, I think. Oh, this train's actually uh, unattached from this. So we're taking it off. Also get to see how powerful it is as well. Right, those brakes are slowly coming off. Just a tiny bit of uh, on the throttle there. Oh, we didn't like that. A little bit more. Come on, train. You know you want to. Oh, here we go. Oh, don't wheel slip, don't wheel slip. I think we're all good. Let's chug a chugger in. I think we're all good. As we get moving. Got green as well, which is good. Yeah, the 4F. The new locomotive for this route. We will, we will do a separate video on this one as well. As I know some of you might be a little bit more keen on it. So yeah, I'll probably do a separate video on this one as well. Which you'll probably end up seeing just after this. But feel free to take a look at the playlist. Yeah, nice to see another loco adding the plethora, or plethora of uh, steam locos in the game. At the moment we've got the 8F Jubilee, I suppose the modern day Jubilee, um, and then the, uh, well, now the 4F. Yeah, it'd be great to see some GWR steamers, so I feel like they should sort of be the next steamers we see. Some great western ones, they are lovely. And quite grand as well, not in the sort of dirty colour what well, this one's in and more green and all shiny whereas this one's all grey and well dirty and there's like a whistle code for this as well it's like two to get going yeah there's a, in the intro for this uh, I saw on the preview there's some sort of whistle code for it might be worth having having a look at that. And that's just gonna take us back to there, isn't it? And brakes, do your thing, work. <laughs> there we go. Well, I think we're gonna call it there as our first look to the Peak Forest route. Uh very, very impressed. I mean it felt like it was almost like a never ending journey. There was just so much to see. Um And yeah, new locomotive with the four F, obviously not that exciting because you don't really use it much uh, but I think they are going to change that in the, in the near future to add a few passenger services for it um, but yeah not too bad uh, big thanks to Dovetail Games for giving us a key to show this off I'm sure there will be plenty more which you will see to keep an eye out um, and yeah apart from that thanks all for coming in have a lovely rest of your day links will be found in the usual places Discord, PayPal, Merch Store and I hope we'll see you in the next one. Oh. And yeah, I should note, these are all livery designer, scenario planner compatible. See you all and take care. Bye, guys.